before the fantasy football season, and here's a few quarterbacks I have a sleepers this week. The first guy, Bryce Young, of the Carolina Panthers. So we know Bryce Young he missed last week's ball game with injury, but it looks like he's set to go and start in this ball game versus the Minnesota Vikings. So we know the Vikings are one of the worst teams in the league against the pass, giving up the third most fantasy points to fantasy quarterbacks on the season. So the first two games for Young, it was growing pains, no doubt about it. He didn't play that great. Week one in the land, 146 pass yards to touchdown. Two interceptions, 17 rush yards. And week two versus New Orleans, 153 pass yards. A touchdown, 34 rush yards, and two-point conversion, a fumble loss. So this week here, good matchup on paper. They got some weapons emerging right now. He's his Carolina Panther team. Adam Thielen last week turned the clock back with a big game. Miles Sanders, I'm not the biggest fan of him, but he's found the end zone twice this season. And DJ Chark even contributing last week's ball game. So right now with a few veteran weapons on the outside and guys who know how to run routes and make plays, I think they could have a decent ball game this week versus a weak Minnesota defense. And right now, Young available in 89% of fantasy leagues, and he's a sleeper quarterback. This week, the next quarterback's Baker Mayfield of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Baker Mayfield so far, he's gone out there and he's played two decent ball games out of the first three for fantasy owners if they really need a deeper option. So right now available in 81% of fantasy leagues. Him and Mike Evans, they're on the same page making big plays so far this season. Chris Godwin, he's been a decent tight end. And even Rashad White out of the backfield has been making plays. So the first three games here for Mayfield, week one in Minnesota, 173 pass yards, two touchdowns, 11 rush yards. Week two versus Chicago Bears, 317 pass yards, a touchdown. 17 rush and then week three versus a very tough philly defense 146 pass yards a touchdown an interception and a two-point conversion so this week here indoor ball game division matchup with the new orleans saints and i think baker mayfield could go out there and put up a serviceable ball game obviously these guys are in deeper leagues two quarterback leagues or even 18 20 man leagues right now but right now on bayfield's been playing decent him and mike evans have a decent rapport if you need a deep league sleeper option, I think Baker could be serviceable this week. And the third and final quarterback I have is a sleep is Kenny Pickett of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So Kenny Pickett, so far this season, we really haven't seen much out of him. Last week was his best game of the season, this Pickett. And they got weapons on this team. You got George Pickens. I know Deontay Johnson's out. Jan Warren can catch the ball out of the backfield. Calvin Austin, that could spread a defense out and make some plays. And even the veteran Allen Robinson and field move to run some routes and make plays. So right now, Pickett so far in the year, week one versus 49 is 232 pass yards, a touchdown and interception. Week two versus the Browns, 222 pass yards, a touchdown and intro. And then week three, like I said, his best game at the rate is 235 pass yards and two touchdowns. So this week here, not the greatest of matchups on paper at Houston, but I think he could pick apart this young defense a little bit in this one is picking. And like I said, he's getting weapons going right now. Calvin Austin, he can emerge. He had that long touchdown in that ball game. We saw, obviously, Allen Robinson a few weeks ago be good. And him, Fearmuth, definitely have a good report. And George Pickens, he's turning into a lower end number one wide receiver for this team. So right now with all those factors and a pretty decent matchup versus a young defense in an indoor game as well, which he played last week and had the best game of the season. I like him as a sleeper this week. So right now available 73% of fantasy weeks. That's a few quarterbacks have a sleeper option for the fantasy football season.